welcome to part three. In this tutorial we're going to draw a little bit of furniture as well as our roof. So let's get started with that. For furniture, let's draw a simple table. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. Make sure I'm on the right plane, which I am. I can see the outside edges are lit up blue. I'm going to draw in one of my legs. So there's my leg. I accidentally turned off ortho mode, so I'm going to turn it back on. And I want to draw the other legs as well. So I'm going to adjust to my top view. So I'm looking like straight down at it. This way there's less to like interfere with because you don't want your shape snapping to something else. And then I'm going to use the copy tool to essentially select that and then move this direction, let's say five units. Press escape twice, use the copy tool again. Click on these, enter. And then I'm going to click on this down corner and kind of go down, let's say four units so that we have these four in place. And if you did it correctly, they should still be on the floor. Then I'm going to follow with the extrude command. I'm going to extrude out these four objects. Enter. And let's go up a total of two units so that we are on the correct surface. Okay, we need a surface for our table. So once again, I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm now going to click on one of the edges of the legs because I know the surface needs to be on that. And I'm just going to go from edge to edge and that looks correct. I'm going to head back to my top view and looking straight down on it like this I want you to like click on an edge so you can see that little or those little blue things and then I just want you to like kind of click on one and move it and then type out an, an overhang. So let's go with one unit overhang on each direction. And if you do this in 3D view, it might kind of snap in weird places, so make sure that you are just using the view you want to move it in. Okay, that's looking good. Let's finish it up with an extrude tool. And let's type in like 0.3. It's a very thin table, very classy look. And that's good. Okay, what I'd like you to do is quickly pause the video and I'd like you to design a chair for this table. Now, once you've designed that chair, it is completely possible to like select it and then, you know, use the copy tool to move it into place somewhere else. And I would like you to put four chairs on this table. And also while you're doing this, oops, let me select it the other way. Um, use the rotate tool, ROT, for rotate. And I probably, oh, you can kind of see how it works since I have ortho mode on. Uh, and you can rotate the object. So if I want to rotate it 90 degrees, enter, and you can see that you can rotate the object. So get four chairs on this table such that they make sense. So go ahead and pause the video. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other side. Same deal, use the line tool, enter, find the midpoint of the outer wall, go vertically up for let's say six units this time, and then press escape, use the line tool and go from one corner over to the top of the structure. Use the line tool again, go from the other corner to this top of the structure. Uh, let's get that overhang, so I'm going to click on this line and just stretch it out one unit. Press escape a few times, head over here, same deal. Kind of stretch it out one unit and then use the line tool one more time to go from one edge over to the other. And this is actually a good example. It's not really snapping right now. Not a big deal. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to like click over here. So it's not really connected. And then I'm just going to use the line tool again and then go from, I guess, here to here. So now it's connected. So I just put an extra line section and with that I should be able to select these 
four lines I created and then used the polyline tool so I want to join these together so join enter and it's four objects converted to one 3d polyline and now I should just be able to extrude those out so let's click on this enter and I'm just going to travel 10 units cool and if you did it correctly you should have a roof on your house let's head over to our shaded view you can kind of see I still have that line there that I probably need to delete but for the most part we have a house that's looking pretty good okay last but not least you're gonna want to add some color to this so what I recommend doing is like clicking on the roof over here in the layers property you can kind of search for different colors so let's put on like a red roof and maybe the outside is like a beige color Oops. Um, yeah so it converted the whole thing I must have had it selected uh, but go through and add some color to your structure so that you have a nice looking thing uh, you can even color the table and your chairs should you like okay so polish that up and save it and that's going to conclude this basic tutorial on designing a house in AutoCAD. Okay guys, I will see you later. Peace.